Hi, Ms. Thomas. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It feels so good to say that. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm making a YouTube video. I'm trying to get active on here. I know that I say this every time, but this uh, it's a process. I'm gonna get used to it. So on today's video, I just wanted, really wanted to teach y'all how to build confidence. Cause I be getting so many messages from my fans and stuff like, oh my God, Miss Mamas, you so sweet. Oh my God, Miss Mamas, you so funny. Oh my God, Miss Mamas, I just love how you just feel silly. You don't care what nobody say. You don't like, so like that, so like that. So I'm like, okay, if y'all love this, let me tell y'all a little secret. Let me tell y'all how I got to this point because before I was to this point where I could just be like my true authentic self and not care what nobody said about me, I was really shy. Like, I was really, really shy. I don't know why I was shy. Like, I was really shy and I didn't start breaking out of my shell until I got on the internet and it was like, okay, these bitches love me. So why the fuck would I care what you think? You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't matter. I don't know how to make these type of videos I, and the reason i want to start making these type of videos you guys is because recently i've only been watching like motivational videos videos pouring into myself just like get myself their little boost in the morning you know what i'm saying so recently that's all i've been watching so i'm like okay this is cool but ain't nobody who making these type of videos like me you know what i'm saying it'd be a little boring to watch like i actually be have to like i don't know if you have to watch it just to watch it. it'd be a little boring so i was like okay let me make a video like this and actually give some truth to it i'm gonna tell y'all how to build y'all confidence for one you can't care about what nobody think like nobody think and i know a lot of people say that and a lot of folks be motherfucking lying a lot of people be lying be like oh i don't care what nobody think but then they be caring what somebody think me honestly i don't care i don't even care what my mama and my daddy think of me i don't care what my sister think of me i don't care what my cousin think of me i don't care what my class thinks of me i don't care what the person I grew up with, I don't care. I just don't care. I don't. The only person I care who think about me is myself and God. I like. I don't care, cause I have no reason to care. First of all, I feel like nobody knows you how you know yourself. So if you know yourself, why would I care what you think about me if I know myself? Cause you don't know me how I know myself. Cause you don't wake up with me. When I go to sleep, you don't go to sleep with me. When I'm thinking in my brain, you can't hear my thoughts. So you don't even know what kind of person I am for real. You just know what you see. And what you see is not what you get all the time. You know what I'm saying? So, honestly, truly, like, I just do not care. I'm going to tell y'all how I got to that point. Because I always kind of just not care. Because I always kind of been, like, head in my mind that you don't have nobody but yourself. And that's, like, something you have to tell yourself. Like, you don't have nobody but yourself. You don't have nobody. Because at the end of the day, when you live your life, you live in your life alone. Like, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you can't control nobody else's body but your own. You got to learn who you are for one. And once you learn who you are, you got to stick to who you are. Me, I know who I am so good. You can't tell me nothing about myself. You can't even come check me. Because if I did it, I did it. And if I said it, I said it. I meant what I said. So you got to learn who you are and stand on who you are. And that's one thing I really admire about myself. And that's one thing that help me build my confidence you know what i mean like because confidence is just knowing who you are and standing on who you are and being true to who you are and being unapologetically you because can't nobody make me feel bad from being me you know what i'm saying i remember like in certain around certain people and stuff like i would try to tone down me or i would try to tone down my mouth because y'all know i got a smart mouth yeah i know little someone's got a smart mouth i would try to tone down my mouth and it was like I don't know. It would make me uncomfortable in a sense. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It would make me, like, uncomfortable because I'm not even me for real. I got to put on this facade around you. So, if I got to put on a facade around you, I really don't even need to be around you because what am I doing around you if I can't even be myself? So, you got to kind of think like that and you got to just... Because it takes too much energy to put on a front around somebody. You know what I mean? And when you like yourself, I don't give a fuck if you don't like me. But if you do like me, at least I know you like me for me and not because I'm trying to be something I'm not. At least I know you like me for me and not because I'm kissing your ass or something like that. So it's like, just be yourself. Like, that's the only way. And I'm going to tell y'all, y'all got to learn who you are. It's so many people who really don't know who they are because they let other people's opinions get in their head. But like, baby, you have to learn who you are. You got to learn what you like. You got to learn what you don't like. You got to learn what you stand for. You got to learn what you don't stand for. For one, because it's a lot of stuff I don't tolerate. And some people will say I'm a B-I-T-C-H for that. But I honestly don't care. Because me, I feel like I deserve so much in this world. I feel like I deserve the utmost. I feel like I deserve everything. So you can't tell me, like, what I'm asking for is too much. Because 
that's just basically what that's basically the bare minimum if you want to talk to me if you want to be in my life that's the bare minimum because all i ask for is respect and all i ask for is you not to disrespect me like you know what i'm saying so i and then it's like a couple of other things like you're not gonna talk to me no type of way you're not gonna talk to me how you think you're gonna talk to me you're not gonna call me on my name you're not gonna yell at me you're not gonna raise your voice at me you're not gonna um talk behind my back you're not gonna do certain stuff like that i just basically ask for the bare minimum and i don't i don't play i don't tolerate mess ups i don't tolerate you, know, you have one shot and you're out because i don't play that because baby you have to realize your time is valuable this time i'm using for this video i will never get this time back you know what i'm saying as i'm making this video i'm aging so it's like your time is so valuable so when you realize that your time is priceless it's like why wouldn't I want the most for myself? Why wouldn't I want the utmost respect? You know what I'm saying? Why wouldn't I want to love myself how I can love myself? Because y'all don't see Beyonce just giving everybody her time. Because that bitch Beyonce. And Beyonce not better than me. I <laughs> like, and that's kind of how you got to think too. Like, bitch, Beyonce not motherfucking better than me. Like, she Beyonce and all. And good for her. But Beyonce not better than me. Ain't no bitch in this world better than me. Cause I'm me, you know what I'm saying? So when you kind of have that mindset, it's like a lot of stuff you're not gonna tolerate. Cause it's like, girl, why is you treating me like this? You must think you better than me or something. Like, girl, why is who you think you is? So you raise your voice at me and call me out my name. You must think you're better than me. Cause bitch, you're not motherfucking better than me. You bleed just how I bleed. And that's kind of how I think. And it's like, I know people say it's arrogant. People say it's cocky, but ain't no wrong with being cocky and confident. Uh, I just feel like people say this just to bring you down. Like, hey, what's, what's wrong with me? thinking I deserve the utmost respect. What's wrong with me thinking that I'm up here? What's wrong with me thinking I'm on Beyonce level? At least I, I know I ain't got Beyonce coins, but bitch, me and Beyonce on the same level because that bitch got confidence and I do too. Probably even more. You can't tell me nothing about myself because I know me. You know what I mean? Also, to build your confidence, I know this gonna hurt for people pleasers, but bitch, I don't please somebody but myself. <laughs> I know it's all about you. It's all about you. I know I'm sounding very airy and I know I'm sounding full of myself right now, but I am full of myself because it's all about you. When I die, it's going to be about me. It's going to be my life. It's going to be the life I chose to live. So it's all about me. And just kind of have, you got to have the energy you got got to have with stuff like this. You got to be like, oh, this life is all about me. I honestly don't care about nobody but myself. I don't care how about nobody else feel but myself. Like, I'm of course, I'm going to take people's feelings into consideration but i'm not gonna change who i am or change how i approach something just for your feelings because it's not who i am you know what i mean you got to stay true to who you are in all aspects even with your balls like i never worked a job a day in my life because i was fortunate enough to be blessed with my platform thank y'all for that keep watching my videos mm. so but it's like like even if I did work a job, like these hoes, bitch, be thinking they can run over you, baby. You can't run over me because all you got is position and a title, baby. A position and a title. My time's so valuable. I just find somewhere else and they'll cherish me. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of how you got to think. People think they they can walk over you, but you can't let no bitch walk over you, y'all. Like, don't let no bitch walk over you because the only person who can walk over you and the only person who I will let walk over me is God. Cause that's the only person who like has some power over me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all these other bitches, baby, you're a human. Baby, you pray to the same God I pray to. And if y'all don't pray to God, you're going to hell. So it's like, you pray to the same God I pray to. So it's like, you're not better than me. You're not. Like, nobody is better than you. Not even me. Even though I'm talking this big damn shit, I'm not even better than you. So you got to have that mindset, child. And I really want y'all to understand that nobody is better than you. Like, nobody is seeing you. Nobody got what they got what they got what you got nobody nobody it's the reason if they was better than you baby you will be conjoined twins and y'all would be together but baby no like nobody is better than you so that's kind of how i be thinking y'all because it's like bitch who the fuck you think you are like girl you ain't better than me it's kind of how you gotta think and like let me tell y'all just it's so many people with so much personalities and stuff like that and they be scared to be like scared for people to be think they weird like you gotta be authentically you like your personality is everything your personality is your character how you are naturally alone you gotta be that everywhere like how i am i might tone it down a little bit just because of settings you know you still gotta be appropriate to the setting but it's like i'm still gonna be who i am if i don't want to do something i'm not gonna do it if i don't want to go somewhere i'm not gonna go it if i don't want to eat this i'm not gonna eat it if i don't want if I don't want to touch something, I'm not going to touch it. If I don't want to talk about something, I'm not going to talk about it. Because it's just me. That's just me. You can't make me do something I want to do. You can't make me do something I want to do because I'm not going to do it. 
Like everybody know that about me. And I feel like when you set that standard for yourself, people know not to even try you. Everybody know that about me. Even my mama, even my daddy, even my best friend, even my brother. Like it's, I feel like I be avoiding a lot of just unnecessary drama, just unnecessary confusion because I set a standard in my life and I follow through with that standard. It's a lot of people who backpedal. Like if I say I'm not gonna do something, for example, for example, I don't do favors for people. That's something I personally just don't do. I don't do favors for people because when I need a favor, people don't do it for me. It just depends on the person and it depends on the circumstance. I don't do favors for people unless I feel like that person would do something for me. Other than that, no. If you're just a friend, I'm not in the fa I'm not in the I'm not the person who does favors. You know what I'm saying? I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Everything has to be beneficial. And that's that comes with my confidence. Everything has to be beneficial to me you know what i'm saying even relationships even friendships and i don't feel like this friendship is going to be benefit me in any type of way or form people might say this using well oh well yes i'm using it for my happiness yes i'm using it to make me happier yes i'm using this friendship to make me a better person so yes i i guess i'm going to be have to be a user but um i don't do shit for nobody who ain't gonna do nothing for me you know what i'm saying you can't be no people pleaser in this world because people people only please themselves you know what i mean you can't be no people pleaser. A lot of people be so upset and so mad because they do stuff for so many people and they don't get the same outcome. But that's nobody's fault with your own because, baby, you got to put yourself first. That's what I want y'all to understand. Like, you got to put yourself first. It's okay to do nice things for people, but don't do nothing nice for nobody. And you know for a fact. If you need it, then they're going to be there for you. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't have friends now. I know y'all like, oh my God, Miss Mama's so cool. Miss Mama's so cool. Well, you ain't got friends. I have one friend, y'all. I have one friend, probably probably two. I I say two, but close to one. I had like one friend for real. Um, And it's, just, it's a choice. I'm cool with people. I talk to people. We chat it up sometimes, but... At the end of the day, you got to know, like, everybody don't have your back. How you going to have your own back? So, when you got to find somebody who will have your, your back like you would have your own back. And a lot of y'all don't have your own back. So, that's why I want y'all to practice being self-centered. Nothing wrong with being self-centered. Nothing wrong with being self-centered unless you have kids. But I ain't got no kids and I ain't got no man. So, baby. <laughs> baby, it's all about me. Even if I do have a family and stuff like that, it's still all about me because at the end of the day, I have to live my life. You can't live your life for other people because if you live your life for other people, you're not living your life for yourself. You can't backpedal. It's a lot of people who say... It's a lot of people who... I know this. They do something and they backpedal after they do it because they start to feel bad. Don't feel bad. If you say no, if somebody asks you for this favor and you know good and well you just don't want to do it because it takes too much energy for you and you just don't feel like doing it, say no. And then they may be like, oh, you going to really do me like that? You really going to do me like that? Yes, I'm going to do you like that because I don't want to do it. A lot of people will be like, oh, man, maybe I was wrong because I said no. Maybe I was wrong because I disagreed. Baby, if I disagree with something, I just disagree. That don't mean you got to fall out because I dis disagree with it. It's just I mindsets then align at that moment in time so it ain't no big deal i'm not gonna change how i feel i'm not gonna change how i think just because you think a certain type of way you know what i'm saying that's not being true to yourself like there's a backpedal and you cannot backpedal nothing like if you feel a certain type of way and you truly think that in your mind don't let nobody change your mind because who are they you know what i'm saying even your parents it's be so so many parents and people that like their kids would have so many dreams and ambitions and stuff and they'll try to be like oh well this is not realistic oh this is not this is not good you need to have a backup plan no, 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 no. if you know in your mind that this is something you really want to do for the rest of your life and this is something that you know you're gonna be good at and this is something you know that's gonna bring in money baby who the fuck are they Baby, because at the end of the day, when you get grown, when you move out, when you start living life and stuff, they're not going to be paying your bills. And let's, I don't know if they start paying your bills and stuff, maybe you're going to have a while to listen. But I'm just saying. But they're not going to be paying your bills. They're not going to be having sex with you because it's weird. Your parents are, can't do that. It's kind of weird. They're not going to be um giving you the sperm or giving you the egg to have children. They're not going to be doing any of that. They're not going to be putting that ring on your finger. So they have no say in your life. Nobody has a say in your life. Until they start doing stuff in your life. You know what I mean? Um, so you got to like, even your parents, even if they doing stuff in your life, that's their job. That's their responsibility. So your parents don't count. You know what I mean? Your parents don't count. Their opinion is wanted. Their opinion is appreciated. I'm going to listen. I want to adhere to it. But if it don't align to who I am as a person, I don't give a fuck. Because that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to give me advice. 
I'm not supposed to take it all the time because I know who I am as a person. When you grow to know who you are as a person, everybody advice is not good advice. You know what I mean? Everybody's advice is not good advice. And I want y'all to learn that you can't take everybody advice because everybody don't think how you think. You know what I mean? But I think that's all I want to say. I really want to make this a series, you guys, where I just, um, just give y'all tips and tricks on how to be like Miss Mama. It's not even like trying to be like me, just how to be your true authentic self. I really want to make this a series called True Authentic Self. I don't know. We're going to get the title and the tweaks and stuff. But I really just want to start, um. I just want to start speaking life into you guys because it's like so many of y'all think I'm so funny. So many of y'all think y'all speak so much life into me. Y'all like make me feel so good. And y'all are really the reason that I boosted my confidence so much because it's like I always thought like, well, if all of these random ass people I never met, never met me, probably would never be in the same room with love me so much. You just think I'm just so, just so pure and so sweet. It's like I must be doing something right. So I want to. I want to spread this love, but this love that y'all pour into me, like, I'm so thankful for it. Y'all make me feel so good. Like, y'all have boosted my confidence and changed my life so much. So, this love y'all poured into me and changed my mindset. I want to pour this into y'all because y'all really deserve it because nobody's better than you. I'm not better than you. Nobody's seeing you. Nobody, nobody got shit on you because you're you. You know what I'm saying? And once you start being you, they can't tell you shit. Holes be holes want you to conform to their standard, but you can't conform to their standard because maybe you're you. So I just want you all to continue to be you. I just want y'all to continue to be happy. I just want y'all to continue to build that confidence because it's not a one, a one um day journey thing. It's not a one day thing. It's a journey. It's a process. So I want to be able to help y'all with this process. And I want to say I love y'all so much. I don't know what else to say. This is my first time doing something like this. Um, I hope y'all like it. Let me know if y'all want more videos like this. I really don't care because I already made up in my mind I'm going to do this regardless. So, <laughs> but let me know though. I love y'all so much, like for real, for real. And y'all already know what we're gonna do. Bye, Miss Thomas.